I was brought up very conservative. I would listen to talk radio with the family throughout the week, ate every single word of it up, and then on the weekends, I would go to Sean Hannity book signings. So you could imagine just how many friends I had. The people we listened to on the AM radio would say that liberals are ruining the country and conservatism is the only thing that would save us. And I would sit there and think, why couldn't my family be into football like normal people? I left home to go to film school in New York City, not exactly known for attracting conservative-minded people. I was thrown into the belly of the beast, surrounded by people that I knew were ruining the country. Bunch of know-nothings. I was arguing with a friend, trying to convince him that the war in Iraq was a good justified war. He said to me, if you really believe that, why aren't you there fighting? And I was really pissed because he pointed out my blatant hypocrisy. I had this cognitive dissonance that wouldn't go away until I talked to an army recruiter, joined the infantry, and went to Iraq. While I was there, I learned to literally no one's surprise that I was very wrong about Iraq. Wrong enough to make me question all of my deeply held conservative beliefs. I came back, finished school, and landed a job at a political commentary show that was very liberal left-leaning. While I was there, I started to become open-minded to their way of thought. Maybe I just had it backwards. I was reading the damn paper upside down. Liberals had it all right. Conservatives were wrong. And then I noticed that they were using language that was very similar to talk radio. They would say, if only we would follow liberals and realize that conservatives were rooting the country, everything would be okay. It felt like two sides of the same coin, which this threw me into a place of thinking, there is no right, there is no wrong. How can you tell if anything is true? It was a very nihilistic, atheistic place to be that I think a lot of people end up in until I found some ideas, some people were talking on YouTube and in podcasts that really changed the way I look at the world. And they made the case that there's a need for both sides. They said human nature is made up of these two types of people by design, the left and the right. You need some people looking after the weak, the dispossessed and the unlucky, people who want to open the borders so we can learn something new. You also need people on the other side that want to protect what we've learned to be true already and tell people to be responsible for themselves and their actions. It's like an eternal tug of war where each side makes the other stronger. And it's an illusion to think that if your team won, then everything would be okay. There just wouldn't be a game to play at that point. And that's why I think it's really important to have respect for the other side, to see their value, step out from the game and see it for what it is.